All your base Chris. Hello, All Your Base Chris here with another one of those Mr. Videos. This time we're looking at the update to Mega AGS, which is the Amiga virtual hard drive image, which takes all of the hard work and configuration out of running just some good old fashioned Amiga games. So this is the version that was released, as you can see, um, 2021, the 13th of the 3rd. So a couple of weeks ago now, but uh, I was very uh, uh, lucky to uh, have been offered a look at uh, an image from uh, the wonderful Opterock and uh, of course the Limmy who have been doing all the work under the hood on this one. So what's changed? Lots of little things. Uh, we've had bug fixes, uh, RTG is now included in the image for the workbench side of stuff. And of course, we also have um, the my mystical five times integer scaling, which means that some of these games will fill your display properly if you're running a 1080p display. Uh, top and bottom, obviously if it's widescreen, it'll just have to stretch out and we don't want that, so it'll make it look all lovely. Anyway, enough of the uh, the waffling on, shall we do some demonstration? First of all, I'm going to jump out of the uh, Mega AGS launcher and I'm going straight into the workbench. And it's pretty much the same as before, uh, slightly neatened up. So obviously we have all of our pro trackers and stuff, um, graphics, etc, etc. I'm not going to get too much into this because um, most of this is as is the previous image, and it's just very cool. But while I'm in Amiga, I'm going to show you that we now have some uh, extended preferences for the Mister. So this was running out of the box. You'll have to excuse me being unable to use a mouse today. I'm using a trackball and I'm running a slight delay. Okay, so if we hit use on this one and we have a 1080p native resolution display, which looks awful on my capture card, but in person looks much nicer as this will totally fill the display. This is only for the workbench side of it. Uh, obviously, Mega AGS runs uh, in sort of native. So let's uh, fire up something. Again, this video won't be particularly long. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, the likes of Zool fills the screen properly this time round. Uh, excuse that, it's because I'm still in RTG mode on Workbench. So pay close attention to the top and bottom of the screen and you should see that Zool fills it pretty well. <laughs> So as you can see here, this really demonstrates it. The red line goes right to the very top and the bottom line goes right to the very bottom. What's happening here is it's being cropped just by a few lines, just so it's a perfectly square pixel uh, ratio on the display. It really, in person, looks great. Uh, again, standard disclaimer, my capture card does not do this justice. Uh, if you see any slowdown, well not slowdown, if you see any screen tearing or anything, that really is my uh, capture card doing that. It's nothing to do with the Mister. The Mister does a, a silky smooth, um, beautiful V-Sync setup. So yeah, we have Zool. Uh, as you can see, uh, slightly not, not filling the screen as much this time around, but uh, that's obviously down on the design of the game. So we'll jump out of Zool. Pinball Illusions. There we go. Excuse me, uh, freezing there for a moment. I've been having some small technical issues lately. Right, so we've got circles, if that was a square, circular circles now, uh, rather than that ever so slightly off aspect ratio.
also, and this has uh, just been added, I believe, is you can go left and right on your joystick to jump to the top and bottom of a list, uh, of page of lists, and that's, that's always cool. I know I seem to run the same software over and over again, but this way you get nice baseline comparison. Right, watch, see, this should fill the entire screen. Full screen, being filled up. So yeah, I'm, I'm obviously there are lots and lots of under the hood fixes to Mega AGS. Quite a few of the games that didn't work now do. Uh, there's been a couple of added ones. Again, um, the big titles have always been in Mega AGS. So, is it still the best? Yeah, no arguments. Still, well, not necessarily the best. It's conjecture. In my humble opinion, it's the best. It definitely is the uh, the the easiest to use, and it is pretty f fully fledged. So, how do you get hold of a copy maker AGS again? Um, Pre-compiled versions uh, theoretically do not exist. The idea is you have your own collection of WHD load games, and you run a script. Um, I'm sure there are uh, versions floating around somewhere. Um, again, uh, keep checking archive.org. No reason to check it. Just it's always a good website to look around. And uh, again, big thanks to OptiRock and uh, Limmy for putting this together. I keep saying Limmy. It probably isn't pronounced Limmy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, anyway, uh, so that's about it, really. All your base Chris here saying thanks again. Thanks for watching. Um, really enjoying like all the subscribers that are popping in. It's sort of making my day to get the, the little email saying uh, Funky Chicken has uh, subscribed to your channel. Not, not a real name, uh, by the way. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you later.